Um, welcome to the next installment of my Q&A series, Behind the Scenes of Creating Comics. Um, let's see, <clears throat> today I've got a two-parter question from uh, someone with the name Checker222, and they ask, uh, Freddie, thank you so much for sharing these videos with us. Uh, they're very helpful. Um, I have a couple questions here, um, and then they ask, the first one is, what has been the impact of the your how-to book, the DC Comics Guide to Digitally Drawing Comics? Um, and the next one is, do I do you think that digital art is cheating? So I might have to break this up into a two-part video or something like that because there's a lot to cover here. Um, I actually already emailed him back because I this was a few weeks ago and I didn't want to just leave him hanging, but I wanted to answer uh, the question on camera as well. That's a good. Those are both good questions. I think the the impact of the how-to book. Um, I mean, I don't know about, like, I don't know. I guess the best way for me to answer this would be to say um, I've been to two big conventions since the book has come out, which was San Diego Con and then the New York convention that we just got back from. And um, because it had taken me two and a half you know, years, basically, to write the book, <clears throat> and it was just between me and my editor, John Morgan, you know, for those two and a half years. You know, it was just something I was working on in my clubhouse, and then, you know, once it went to the publisher, there was even a couple months lag time before it actually hit the stands and stuff of September of uh, 2009. And um, then there was a few months before I went to a convention after that. So it's like I had, I don't know, four months, five months to kind of forget almost that the book was out there. I had lots of emails and stuff, but it, it's a different experience. Basically, I was at San Diego, um, the San Diego Con, the the preview night of the show, which is Wednesday, and uh, I had just set up or something, and, and somebody walked by and said, because um, my banner, uh, you know, my name placard banner has the artwork for the, the cover of the DC Comics Guide to Digitally Drawing Comics. What a long name. Uh, <laughs> um, and so somebody, like, just was walking by and recognized it and was like, oh, did you did you write the that how-to book? And I was like, yeah. And they said, um, they, they, like, shook my hand in a very grateful way and said, um, I just wanted to say that that book has made a big difference to me or, you know, they said something like that. And um, in that moment, I was like, huh? Oh, what? <laughs> because it was, uh, I'm very happy that it has made a difference, but I guess in a, in a way I'd kind of forgotten about it. I just had no, like, interactive experience with somebody in person. So, but that, I got that throughout the whole convention, both of them, both San Diego Con and New York Con. And there's been, to my delight, the best feedback I've gotten was there's been probably eight or ten guys or something who both emailed me and, and in person said this to me, that um, the how-to book has made a difference in their, in their life. And they were considering, they had either quit drawing or they had been considering you know, quitting drawing, um, but that the, the stuff I laid out in the book inspired them and made them want to draw again. And that, uh, you know, that I'd act, I, I'm not kidding, it actually gave me some goosebumps just now just to think about that. That's probably the biggest compliment. I had not thought about that, I guess, and, but I've been there at that point before. There's, there's been a couple points in, you know, before I broke into the industry where I just felt like, ugh, you know, I'm just, uh, you know, I just feel like I'm spinning my wheels and, I, am I ever going to get anything published and, you know, I, my art style, I'm not sure which direction to go into. Do I go ultra, ser ultra serious or cartoony or some weird mix? And there was a lot of, you know, I wasn't sure. I was kind of at several crossroads or something. And, uh, you know, for me, Kingdom Come by Alex Ross, that, that book kind of saved me out of that. Elf Quest, there was an Elf Quest book three, actually. I mean, it's very diverse stuff. Uh, Jim Lee's X-Men number 272. Um, trying to think of what else. Uh, I guess maybe whenever Travis Charest took over the relaunch of um, of the Wildcats books, uh, you know, it didn't last for a real long time. But the first five issues of that, or whatever, that was another point. It was just like these these moments that kind of stick out to me as like peaks in um, kind of the sea of of trying and experimenting or something. Anyway, I, I'm getting a little off topic here, but what I'm, what I'm saying is to feel that, that I've had, or to know that I've had that sort of, a, of an impact or contributed to someone in that way, uh, was very unexpected and feels great. Um, so that's what I think the impact of the book, I mean, that's the biggest impact right now. Who knows, you know, I mean, I hope that it stays relevant 
for years and years and years and years. I mean, I know that <clears throat> the specific versions or the specific functionalities in each version of Photoshop will, will change or kind of mutate or something, um, but uh, most, if not all, of the functionality should stay the same. Uh, so I hope that it stays relevant for a long time. And I still work that same way on a side note. I just use, there's some new tools that I've, that I've included, uh, or I'm sorry, that I've, that I've added to my own workflow that aren't included in the book, of course. Um, but I am wanting to do another how-to book or DVD soon. Um, let me know what you guys think about that. Uh, I don't know. So, so that's the impact. Feels good. Um, and then the next part is, is digital art cheating? Uh, 